In a heartbreaking story that has captured the attention of South Africa, the tragic death of 20-month-old Keone Pika has ignited a nationwide call for justice. The hashtag hashtag justice for Keone is trending as disturbing allegations surface regarding his father, Duna Oberon, and the circumstances surrounding the child's untimely death. Keone Pika was just beginning to explore the world, filled with laughter and curiosity. However, his life was cut short under suspicious circumstances. According to reports, Keone allegedly drowned in a swimming pool at his father's home while under the care of two nannies. This incident has been described as part of South Africa's ongoing child drowning crisis, which claims too many young lives each year. As details began to emerge, Keone's mother, Lesigo Pika, raised serious concerns about the nature of her son's death. She claims that Nduna Oberon may have been involved in a sinister plot for money rituals, fabricating a story about drowning to cover up foul play. This shocking accusation has led to calls for an investigation into the circumstances surrounding Keone's death. In a swift and troubling turn of events, Keone was buried within 24 hours of his death, an action that has raised eyebrows and fueled suspicions. Lesigo believes that this hasty burial was an attempt to conceal evidence. As she fights for justice, she is advocating for the exhumation of her son's body to determine the true cause of death and ensure that any potential foul play is thoroughly investigated. The online community has rallied around Lasigo's plea for justice. The hashtag hashtag justice for Keone is trending on social media platforms as people express their outrage and demand accountability. Many are calling for the South African Police Service, SAPS, to conduct a thorough investigation into the case, emphasizing that no parent should have to endure such a tragedy without answers. The community's response has been overwhelming. Local activists are stepping in to support Lasigo's cause, emphasizing the need for systemic changes to protect children from preventable tragedies like drowning. They are also advocating for stricter regulations regarding childcare and supervision to prevent similar incidents in the future. As investigations continue, legal experts weigh in on the implications of this case. The potential charges against Nduna Oberon could range from negligence to more severe accusations if foul play is proven. The outcome of this investigation could set a precedent for how child welfare cases are handled in South Africa moving forward. Thank you for watching. We encourage you to leave your thoughts in the comments below about how we can better protect our children and ensure that justice is served in cases like these.